finally, time for something that I actually enjoy doing. <laughs> there we go. So for those who are new around here, this right here is a uh, 1993 Supra that I built for my wife. And, um, you know, I, I did it all budget. You know, obviously a lot of this stuff here is still going to be budget. Uh, but this has a log manifold. Um, and it does not sound that good, in my opinion. I believe that all two Jay-Z's need a tubular manifold. That's just really how you're going to get that true two Jay-Z sound. And this is what we got over here. This here, nothing expensive. This is a budget manifold. I actually just cut off the uh, flange that came with it because I need to install one of these flanges here. So I need to get that welded up so that way it can accept the wastegate. Now, I did just, uh, you know, I gave it a shot. You know, I, I for those who missed out on the previous video, I turned my bench grinder into a polisher. This is a waste kit that I bought on the marketplace and it looked really, really bad. It looked like somebody was going to throw it away. So I uh, gave it a little bit of a shine. Now it looks brand new again. <laughs> Here we have a, um, I believe these are called Marmon flanges. These, this is what they use on the Borg Warner turbos since I am going to be building a full four inch down pipe. This is a four inch pipe. You guys see right there. And these are some uh, pipe cuts that I had left over from when I built the exhaust on this car. Uh, for again, for those new around here, this car has a full four inch exhaust, four inch mid pipe, four inch uh, cat back, and I built it all here in this garage. So now I'm going to build a down pipe and it'll have a full four inch from the turbo all the way to the back custom made by Boosted Project himself. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's let's go ahead and get this uh, party started. Now I'm hoping that I do have enough pipe for this. This is literally, this right here is all I had left over from, from that four inch exhaust. I ordered this uh, pipe here because I know from the exhaust going up, um, I'm gonna have to cut that flange that I put on there and I'm hoping that I can use this to turn the pipe up. Uh, and that reminds me, I need this too. I am going to need this V band right here. So I will use the four inch V band from the mid pipe up to the down pipe and then goes up and it will bolt up to this Marmon flange with the T-bolt clamp. So, yep, got a lot of work to do. Boom! And it's all out. Got the down pipe out, the turbo manifold off, the turbo, everything's off. Uh, one thing I did realize is that this is probably need to get cut and modified as well. So, here we have a log manifold eBay wastegate. Did it, it did pretty good. I'm honestly pretty impressed. Uh, that made, what, 30 pounds of boost, 700 horsepower. And I did it without any issues whatsoever. Uh, the only thing is, you know, I got a good deal on this one, so I figured I'd go ahead and, uh, you know, get it upgraded to an actual tile wastegate. So let's see here if I can do it with one hand. It's not that heavy, so should be pretty easy. Run that bolt up over there, and there we go. All right. Yeah, definitely gonna need to modify this. <laughs> Big time, holy crap. All right, dump tube is out. We can go ahead and get rid of this. Anybody wants it, y'all make sure and send me a message through Instagram. Same goes for this. Um, this is basically a um, three inch down pipe. You got that uh, four inch to a three inch for the Borg Warner turbo. So basically, if you want to have similar setup that I had before, all you have to do is get yourself an S366 Borg Warner turbo. I'll show you this down pipe, the manifold and the wastegate, and uh, you'll be all set. Good morning, you guys. It's the next day. Time to get the day started. Good morning, Mama. What's up, bad boy? What's going on, man? How you doing? All right, you guys. So, uh, I mean, it, it goes to say that whenever you're working with cheap parts, you know, things really never go as planned, and you should have never expected to. You get what you pay for. 
And that's one of the things that, I mean, I was expecting it with this one, so I'm not surprised. Um, so as I told you guys before, that is a cheap manifold, right? It's one of those eBay manifolds. And um, you guys can see it is way, way too close to that runner. So with it being so close to the runner, I'm not comfortable running it like that. And so what I'm going to end up doing, I'm going to end up spacing the turbo up. So I'm going to bring up the turbo about an inch. And another thing, the drain, see, it's way, way too close to the flange. So I ordered some parts to fix this issue. If you don't want to deal with any of this stuff and you just want to bolt it on and that's it, get you those expensive parts, you know, get yourself a virtual works manifold, a PHR manifold, something like that. Um, eventually I'll do it, but man, I got kids. I got a lot of money tied up in other places there you know other things for my family so i gotta work with what i have and uh, i'll make it work <laughs> so uh, as far as fabricating the downpipe you guys very very simple first you want to start off with your either v-band flange or marmon flange in this case for the borg warner and uh basically from here you got to start using pie cuts um give yourself an idea of how you're gonna route this Obviously, we, we want to go down, but we can't go straight down since the turbo runner's right here. So what we want to do is go down, but at an angle this way here, like towards the passenger side. So thankfully, with pie cuts, you can do that. You can maneuver it whichever which way you need to go. Something like this kind of brings me out a little bit. So I'm going to definitely need to make some more pie cuts two or three more that way I can put it out of straight and then I'll probably need another two maybe three at the bottom so I'm gonna make six more just to be safe and uh, play around with that now if you make them properly five of these these are nine degree pie cuts nine on each side uh, so if you put five of them together it should give you 90 degrees and there is your 90 degrees there it is <laughs> I ended up using uh, one two three four five pie cuts uh, let me show you guys See you see you guys see the curve how it goes out and then down. I'm honestly Very very happy. I did not struggle with this at all But there it is <laughs> It goes something like that This is my uh, custom-made mid pipe uh, That I made last year still holding on pretty strong. So I must have done something right. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut it here so that way I can use that uh, 45 degree and just hopefully make a very smooth transition. I got the uh, most of the downpipe all welded up. You guys remember that 45 degree pipe that I bought? This is it right here. I just have to cut the ends off. And I got it a little all tacked up, four tacks. So it's gonna go from here. And I just gotta figure out what size pipe I need to get it to connect here. And that's why I have this one here. A little bit too big. I'm gonna end up having to cut it, but I'll figure it out right now. But getting close, getting very close. And I can't wait to finish because I'm tired. All right, so what I was gonna do originally was, um, so the pipe was originally twisted like this. And I was gonna have to force this exhaust pipe over this way, which in return would it's gonna move my tailpipe. I don't want to do that, so I'm gonna clock this back to where it's flush here. And what I'm gonna do is, if you guys, I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but it's like a pie cut. So I'm gonna get the measurements from here to here, here to here, and basically turn this into the perfect pie cut to fill this gap, and that should be it. And I think I got it. <sighs> I'm tired. Uh, right now, what I'm working on is the uh, waste gates. Unfortunately, this is like the newer style. And this one has two springs in here that equals 13 PSI. But these have like little ribs inside of it. And um, basically, it locks the little waste gate in there. This one only has two spots for like a medium and then like a large size 
So the big spring from over here fits perfectly fine. All right, with the small one, as you put it in there, there's really nothing that it can lock into. I don't feel comfortable running it like that, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this back together, leave that alone, and uh, this is an eight pound spring. Obviously, eight pounds is not enough. I need at least a 13 pound spring so I can, you know, build up to 30 pounds of boost with the boost controller hooked up. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is run this for now. I did order a one bar spring, which is about 14 and a half pounds of boost. Um, so I'll swap that back out eventually once I get it. I don't know how long it's gonna take, uh, but for now, gonna I need to put all this back in the car. I also did weld the flange here for the uh, 38 millimeter wastegate. Goes about there. So cut that out. Welded the new one, and uh, let me show you. What's up, boy? Let me share you with you guys some of my welds. Um, I did learn a lot. Fitment is key, so I will focus a lot more on my fitment for the pie cuts. Um, I also did learn about my gas coverage. I'll show you some of the you know not, not so good welds, and then I'll show you the ones where I was really taking my time and I had pretty much all my settings down. So on these welds here, uh, definitely didn't have enough uh, gas coverage. That's the reason why my colors are not the prettiest. My fit up was terrible, but once I learned my errors, pretty good. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Let me show you the other side. Definitely getting better, definitely getting a lot better. Here within the next couple of days, it's gonna go to under 10 degrees. It should be in the single digits. Wind chill is like negative six degrees or some shit like that. Um, but yeah, I'm wasting time. I need to hurry up and get all this stuff back in the car uh, because I do not want to be out here when it's in the single digits. Let's do one of these old school, you know, little tricks here. One, two, and there we go. Everything is installed. Intercooler piping, oil lines, a drain. I made everything work. Now, this was everything. There's a wastegate down there. This was everything but easy. I had to modify the bolts, I had to modify the studs, I had to modify the plates, I had to modify the drain, I had to modify the intercooler piping, I had to modify everything. So, of course, that is all, you know, because it's not one of the best types of manifolds, right? It's one of these cheaper brands, but, you know, I figured I'd go through the hassle, I wanna learn what everyone talks about, about it being bad, and uh, I'll give you my feedback again. You know, since I started this project, I've been trying to do what I could under budget. Uh, so let's see how far I can take this. There's a four inch downpipe. Um, now, one quick thing I will tell you guys, making everything that's V-band match up perfectly, holy shit, that was hard. Um, so this right here, Marmon flange, is very similar to a V-band. Then I got a V-band on the bottom and then the middle of the exhaust, I'll show you guys. So here's the uh, first V-band from the downpipe into the midpipe. Back there, you'll have the other V-band. And of course, they're, you know, female. Yeah, I'm like all cut up, my hands are jacked up. Uh, they're male and female V-band, so it has to fit perfectly. And um, I guess that's one way to say that I got my fabrication skills on point, or at least getting a lot better since everything matched up. Very, very happy about that. And of course, there's always things that you forget. As I was putting all the tools away, I found this. Forgot about the dump tube to the wastegate. Uh, this will need some sort of modification, uh, but I'll do this once I get the new wastegate spring. And uh, if you guys remember from the beginning of the video how much pipe I had uh, to start, this is literally all I'm left with. I don't hear no exhaust leaks. I think I'm solid. I don't hear no exhaust leaks whatsoever. Today on my lunch break, I was, you know, I work from home most of the time. On my lunch break, I came out here to try to get this done because I wanted to finish it before this freeze comes in. I don't want to be out here at, you know, five, 10 degrees. And uh, thank God I got it done. All right, guys, I'm gonna give it a few revs and then I'm gonna let y'all go. Uh, 
I'm gonna get in trouble. Oh shit.